Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikin, Math 131, Elements of College Mathematics, Section 10.5, Problem 5. This is section 10.5, problem 5. It says use a calculator to solve for x in each of the following equations. And there are three equations. The first one, part a, is 3 to the x power equals 12. Now in the previous section, there was a three-step process to solve for x in an exponential equation. And step one is make the base the same in both sides. There is nothing you're going to do to make the base the same in both sides of this equation, 3 to the x equals 12. And if your first reaction might be 4. x is 4. That's not the case. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 to the 4th power is not 12. 3 to the 4th power is 81. So there's some value of x that makes this equation true. 3 raised to that exponent is going to give you a result of 12. Now, solving equations like this is the whole reason why we learn logs. Logs are just a different way of writing exponents. I say that in class. Most people say, well, I like writing them as exponents better. I don't like the logs. They're confusing. And it's true. And if you didn't have to solve equations like this, I wouldn't want to know logs either. But uh, this is the whole reason to know logs. There is some answer for that. And you'd eventually get it with trial and error. But you could spend like an hour on this. I mean, I can estimate it pretty close. 3 to the second power is 9. And 3 to the uh, third power is 27, so it's between 2 and 3. It's got to be 2 point something. But to get a lot of decimals, it'd be tough. A lot of trial and error. Um, so what you have to do is convert this to a log equation. So written in its exponential form, remember, I like to write ben, b-e-n for base exponent number. Now as a log, you switch it around to benny, b-n-e, still for base number exponent. So you write the word log, then you put the base as a subscript. The base is 3, then you write the number, the number is 12, then you write equals, and then you write the exponent. The exponent is x, that's our unknown. And initially you might think, well, that's even worse, log base 3 of 12. But if you remember from the previous problem from this section, we saw how to solve problems like this. And this is why we learn how to solve problems like this. So log base 3 of 12, we can write the log of the number, so common log of 12, over the log of the base, so over log of 3, or common log of 3, log base 10. And then you can figure it all out in your calculator. You have this big, long fraction that your calculator will figure out for you, and you get the answer. So the top, or numerator, common log of 12, the calculator tells me very easily, that common log of 12 is 1.079181246. And then in the denominator, we're going to have common log of 3, which the calculator also tells me very easily, is 0.47712254. And now when you divide those two values, 1.079181246 divided by 0.47712254, calculator tells you that it is 2.261859. 507. So what we found out is 3 to the 2.261859507 power is going to equal 12. And this is the type of problem that you can verify with your calculator. While that number is on the screen of your calculator, if you like, store it in memory. And then with your exponent button, put 3 exponent recall memory equals, and it will tell you that it's 12. So you found the exponent. It's a very difficult exponent to find if you don't use logs. That's why we learn about logs. Now, part B is the same exact process. You have 5 to the x power equals 120. Solve for x. There is some exponent for the 5, where if you raise 5 to that power, it's 120. And again, I can estimate it pretty quickly. 5 to the first is 5. 5 to the second is 25. 5 to the third is 125. So the x is going to be almost 3, probably 2.9 something. But to get an exact answer, it's going to be tougher. So we're going to use logs. So again, first convert this from an exponential equation to a log equation. So to do that, I'm going to write ben underneath, b-e-n for base exponent number. The base is 5, the exponent is x, and the number is 120. 
And in log form, I'm going to write Benny. B-N-E, still for base number exponent. You write the word log first. Then you put the base as a subscript, which is 5. Then next comes the number, which is 120. And then equals. And then E for exponent is x. It's the unknown. So I have log base 5 of 120 equals x. I have to figure out log base 5 of 120. Now my calculator can do that by using the change of base formula. So I'm going to have the common log of the number in the numerator of a fraction, so common log of 120, over the common log of the base, so over common log of 5. And again, you're going to get some big ugly fraction that you can divide out with your calculator and it'll give you the answer. So in the numerator, the common log of 120 the calculator tells me very easily is 2.079181246. And in the denominator, the common log of 5 is 0.69897004. Now with my calculator, I'll divide those two values. I'm going to do 2.079181246 divided by 0 0.69897004. And the answer I get is 2.974635869. So again, that's the exponent of the 5 that you would need to get 120. 5 to the 2.974635869 power is going to give you a result of 120. And again, remember, I estimated this to almost 3, and that's almost 3. And like part A, while the number is on your screen, if you want to double check, save it in memory, store it, then clear your screen, put 5, press your exponent button, Recall the memory for the exponent, hit equals, and the answer will come out to 120 if you want to check it. I like problems that you can check the answer to verify. And then finally, part C. Solve the equation for x. 8 to the x power equals 80. So again, there's some value for x that makes this true. And at first glance, if you haven't been studying exponential equations, you'll say x is 10. Well, 8 times 10 is 80. But 8 to the 10th power is immense. It's, it's way, way more than 80. So 8 to the first power is 8. 8 to the second power is 64. 8 to the third power, 8 times 8 times 8, is 512. So it should be between 2 and 3, closer to 2, um, because 8 to the second power, a value of 2 for x, would give me 64, which is fairly close to the 80. So it's going to be the same process. 8 to the x power equals 80 is the exponential form, which I write ben for, b-e-n, which stands for base exponent number. The base is 8, the exponent is x, and the number is 80. And I will switch that to the logarithmic form, benny, b-n-e, for base number exponent. So I write the word log, I put the base as a subscript, the base is 8, then the number, the number is 80, then equals, and then the exponent. And the exponent is x, the unknown value. So I need to solve log base 8 of 80 equals x, and that'll tell me the answer to the problem. So like parts a and b, I'm going to use that change of base formula. And I'll do common log of the number, so common log of 80, over common log of the base, common log of 8. And the calculator will do all the, the hard work for me. So I'll clear the screen. The common log of 80 in the numerator is 1.9030899987. And in the denominator, the common log of 8 is 0 0.9030899987. So now I have to do the division. 1.9030899987 divided by 0 0.9030899987, which is calculated as very easily. And the answer I get is 2.1073093631. So again, what we have found is the exponent for 8, where you raise it to that power, 
to give you an 80. So just to write the whole thing out, 8 to the x power, so 8 to the 2.10730936.5 power equals 80. And like the others, you can verify that with your calculator fairly quickly. Once you've gotten to the end of the problem, store that into your memory, clear the screen, put 8, press your exponent button, recall your memory, hit equals, and the calculator will say 80.